reality of a software tester guys you have seen multiple videos where everyone is basically talking about the positive of a software testing right we are basically how to become a software engineer how to become an automation engineer how pressures can switch to automation or pressure can learn about the manual testing right but i'm today it's a little different topic that i'm going to cover where i will talk about the different realities right now in the market it is a on a stock where i will highly recommend anyone who is basically jumping into the qa world they have to know about these things all right so make Make sure if you are someone who has interest, even if you have experience, right, you will agree with me on these points. All right, so let's discuss about this point. So first of all, we will discuss about the poor work-life balance. So disclaimer, guys, make sure you watch the video in 1.2x so that you can watch till the end and you can get through all the important stuff, right? And you can download all the notes in the sdead.life/notes where. as a pdf version every notes is available all right so first of all nobody is talking about the poor work life balance guys trust me as a software tester especially what i have seen i have basically uh, throughout my 10 years of journey right i have basically switched to almost like 5 to 6 company average you can say it's almost like 1 year or 1 and a half year per company right but i have seen is there are long long work hours especially for the qas we have late builds we have limited time to test and we have poor estimates problem so this is one of the important problem that we have seen I I've seen personally where work life balance basically impacted by the company especially in mnc's also where as a tester you have to basically test uh, especially in startups also where you have to test some of the builds at night right whenever they are ready so and you have a limited time to test for example nobody will give you a proper time to create your test cases and execution right you have to basically squeeze up your time and they will also tell you that you are the gatekeeper of our product and because of you we are getting delayed so this is what actually happened in this software testing world if you agree with me just type agree in the comment second important point is performance evaluation most of the time in software testing what's happening is performance evaluation is based on the bugs for example if you have a leakage of bugs in the production then your performance will get impacted which i think it's not required and uh, trust me this is happening in very very decent companies also where they have a kpis which basically says that if you have a impacted bugs or production bugs your performance will be basically impacted and your salary will be also impacted so which i think it's a very a uh, different problem uh, that you have that you must know as a fresher right and uh, the second important point is respect problem qa software testers generally have a less respect as compared to the developers and devops this is actually what i have seen and average pi average pi means performance evaluation will be very average but i have seen even the managers are not excited to give you a proper raise this is truth this is a bitter truth that i am talking about so only thing that will save you is keep learning guys so you have to basically step by step uh, prepare your plan of journey for example for two after two years after three years after five years but i should know so that you can increase your salary so only this thing will you will be able to survive qa related problem that you will face is basically you have to own the full quality there will be a blame games lots of time you will be facing part of it you will get a less salary as compared to developers as well as devops this is truth responsibility will be high average work or a boring work that you will get uh, you will get less respect so respect issues will be there and how did you miss these kind of question will be very very frequent for you guys especially as a qa so yes there are lots of uh, problems and that's a bitter truth about this of protesting and nobody is talking about actually on youtube they just say you over the positive sides of it but this is a reality of a software tester right so conclusion and the positive points i should wrap up this video in a positive note right but i think what i have learned is that basically if you are a decent qa if you are a awesome qa and if you are learning then you will get you will gain a good respect try to search some good companies if you are a part of a good mncs or the good companies or good startups you will have a more respect as well as the good salary uh, try to jump the ladder into the high for example if you are right now a normal software tester or a junior software tester as soon as possible go towards the lead position or some where you will get a more salary as well as respect what i have seen and you have to learn the art of negotiation guys you have to learn don't settle for less salary make sure you settle for a more salary this is reality and software testers are highly highly impacted because they are getting exploited on the salary basis okay i hope this makes sense i hope this video will be helpful for the people who are jumping into software industry or even if you are in this software industry right we you will be able to relate this all right thanks for watching this video guys i hope you have liked this, this is your host pramod i'll see you in the next video